everyone, it's Ma from Sparkly Belly. I often wonder how belly dance instructors always look so beautiful, and I've noticed that many of them dress very nicely even when they're teaching. When I attended the workshop by Mercedes Nieto last year, she was wearing this beautiful chain belt over her teaching outfit, and I wanted to recreate it. So in this video, you'll see how I made this chain belt that can be worn over any practice outfit or even as part of costumes. So let's get started. To make this chain belt, you need chains, of course. I'm using exactly the same chain as one I used for the thigh chain jewelry DIY. I used about 2.7 meters. Jump rings? I used two different sizes, but any size would work as long as they're large enough to hold a few chains. A clasp? Things to decorate the belt with? This is optional, but I had these earrings I wanted to recycle, so you'll see how I use them in this belt. And pliers. So first, measure your belt line. This is not your waistline. This is where you want the belt to sit. And divide that number by 4. So for example, my belt line was 82 centimeters. So divide it by 4 and I get 20.5 centimeters. I made it 20 centimeters because I'm going to add jump rings and the medallions from the earrings which will compensate for the length. So cut four pieces of chains in that length. Then add two and a half centimeters or one inch to the length and cut four more pieces in this new length. And again, add two and a half centimeters or one more inch to the length and cut four more pieces in this length. So you now have three sets of chains in three different lengths and each set has four pieces. Okay, so first take the shortest set of chains, lay them out with jump rings in between, and connect them like this. Say the four points represent front, right side, back, and left side. Then at one of the sides, add a clasp to one end and a jump ring to the other end. And if you have medallions like I do here from my earrings, I want one in the front and one in the back. So I connected them with jump rings in between two pieces of chains there. If you have no medallions, just connect with jump rings like the rest. So except for the jump rings at the medallions, you can leave the rest of the jump rings open for now. Next, take the medium length set of chains and lay them out outside of the first chains. And take the longest set of chains and lay them out outside of the medium ones. Then join them all at the jump rings. At medallions, I added new jump rings and connected them at lower points. And that's pretty much it! It's really simple, but it looks cute to wear it over practice pants or layer it with an overskirt or hip scarf. If you like, you can add more decoration, and it's a great project to recycle your old earrings and necklaces. Hope you like this chain belt, and if you make your own, please share a photo on Sparkly Belly's Facebook page. And remember to sign up for the Sparkly Belly newsletter for updates and special freebies that I share only with newsletter subscribers. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!